Okay, let's kick off. So thank you for joining me today. Another one of the uh, Creditor Watch webinars, getting close to the end of the year, and I think we've got one left with it, which is directed due diligence coming up. Um, but today we're going to be talking about onboarding made easy, so improving the customer onboarding experience, um, which also assists with strength, strengthening your credit management processes at the same time and finding some um, some big efficiencies when we when we look at utilising an API, if that's something that you are interested in. So today's presentation, as always, there's a Q&A box that you can utilise within the GoToWebinar control panel. So please do feel free to ask questions. Um, I will try to get a bit of a Q&A at the end, depending on time and the questions that have come through, but we will get back to you if we don't answer them within the uh, webinar itself. Slides and webinar recording will of course be sent to you um, and the session generally runs for about 30 minutes, give or take, sort of five minutes either way. Today's agenda, I'll really quickly touch on, you know, who Creditor Watch is, what we do. Most of you would be very familiar now, um, plenty of the same people or, the, you know, plenty of people are joining us for, you know, not necessarily their first webinar, which is great. Thank you for that. Plenty of customers and also people who are considering Credit Watch or Apply Easy as well. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get into an overview of, you know, the webinar topic itself. So Apply Easy, how that helps with um, not only the customer experience and, and um, you know, closing sales faster and the rest of the dot points that we've got here, but also touching on PPSR logic and, of course, uh, API integration as well. And we'll do a, a, a quick live demonstration for you of Apply Easy so you can start to get a feel for exactly what it is that I'm talking about as we go through the presentation. So who are we? Australia's leading commercial credit reporting bureau with over 50,000 customers across Australia. Um, a wide variety of features and products. We are an end-to-end -end credit management solution so you can pick and choose what you want to use or you can uh, ingest all of it. So credit reporting, of course, monitoring alerts and some debt collection tools. Um, we've got a trade program called Datalogic Plus, which is great for high level, um, you know, ledger analysis, receivables analysis, prioritise collections, work out, you know, who's paying you fast and who's paying you slow, who's using you as a bank. Directed due diligence, I touched on, we've got a webinar coming up on that. That's a, that's a new product where we've We've, uh, we've amalgamated uh, two previous uh, individual products, Adverse Cross Directorships and Bankruptcy Plus under a single product offering, Director Due Diligence, PlayEasy, which is our online credit application and why we're all here today, and PPSR Logic, which is for anything related to PPS registrations. So let's jump straight into a PlayEasy and we ask why change in the first place? Fairly simply, fairly simply put, um, it's a great way to digitise the way you onboard new customers. So remember, generally when a customer is applying for credit, it is a very, it's very early on in their interaction with your business. Okay, if they've got to try to find a PDF that they've got to, you know, download, fill out, sign, scan, upload it back in, email it off. You know, it, it's a fairly old school way in today's, you know, tech savvy world to be interacting with a company. Um, it's, it's often slow, painful um, for both the customer and also, you know, the credit or accounts receivable team to try to make sure they actually capture all the information. Um, and also for the customer, it's just, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's an old school way of, of, of interacting with someone. So we want to get the experience for the customer off to a great start. So digitize the way you do that. Move away from paper-based apps and all their issues. Um, automate, automate, automate. The more you do that, the more sales you're gonna see, um, you're gonna reduce your credit risk, you're gonna improve the customer experience, you're gonna find more time for you, your staff, your company to actually either run the business if you're a you know, small, medium-sized business or do collecting um, additional due diligence on, you know, riskier organisations. Um, and of course, that's saving a lot of money for you as well. And of course, close sales more, close more sales faster. 
we want to be able to answer as many questions in an automated fashion for, for, for both the, the client, the applicant, and also for you, the credit manager, the, the MD, you know, whatever your role is, we want to be able to um, pre-fill, pre-verify as much information as possible for you. So when it comes through to you, um, you've got a nice complete application with a decision waiting for you to say, approve it or reject it, or maybe you need to do a little bit more due diligence. So it's just going to allow you to close the sales, close more of them um, and feel safer about doing it as well because you've got a more enhanced credit management process in place. So a little bit about ApplyEasy, obviously won't go into all of these details, but because um, we're going to touch on it quite a bit and you're going to get a demonstration, but it's good for you to have you know, at the end of the at the end of the, the webinar itself. So it's an online credit application. You know, it allows new customers to apply with for an account with you. We're automating a lot of the information. Um, we're verifying them in real time. Um, it's giving them a digital experience first and foremost. You're able to utilize you know real time data. Um, it integrates directly into Creditor Watch. So you Taking, you're taking that information from the credit reports in the credit bureau itself um, to make those faster decisions for you. It also integrates, of course, as I was talking about with PPSR Logic, which is a fairly new, new product, uh, probably, uh, actually, no, we're coming up on 12 months now, um, which is basically anything to do with PPSR. So it allows you to create, manage, and renew registrations. Um, and in one Process. So when you integrate with the policy, uh, when you're able to approve, you do approve an applicant for an account with you. Um, there's a simple pop-up that I'll show you that says, do you want to register this on the PSR? Yes or no, bang, done. Um, we can customise, you know, templates and whatnot for you. Um, so it's a customised experience for you, which uh, simplifies what is quite often a fairly complicated process. PPS certainly isn't. Um, an easy thing to go through to understand and to manage. And that's what PPSR Logic has delivered. You can do pretty much everything in it, register, amend, discharge, bulk or singular uh, registrations. We'll even allow you to import existing registrations. So you've got a full list of them, a full view for you, a live real-time view, as well as sending you alerts as registrations are due to expire so that you can renew them and you don't lose your place um, uh, in terms of priority from a securitization point of view. Of course, very secure, very accurate way of managing your PPS registrations. Um, and the last one there, we are an award-winning portal. Uh, recently won a technology award, the Australian Business Awards, um, a few months ago. The reason for that is we went out to market and we said, what do you like with your current um, you know, PPS solution? What don't you like? what would you like to see? And we took all of that into consideration and um, I challenge most people who use it or who want to use it to find something that it doesn't do. Um, it certainly is the most comprehensive solution out there. So let's look at an API. So an API, simply put, is a way for two systems to, to transfer information or talk to one another. So ideally what we're doing here is we are getting, we are getting um, apply easy or PPSR logic or creditor watch to talk generally to your CRM or your ERP system. So there's obvious benefits there without even having to think very deeply into it. But what you can do amongst other things is add and remove customers from your watch list, um, obtain daily notifications from those customers that you're monitoring, um, order any credit report, credit score, KYC, AML, DBS, every base, every product that you see within Creditor Watch itself, you can order via API and automate. Um, and of course, send apply as the application data. So once an applicant has gone through the process of submitting all their information, um, you can actually import in an automated fashion all of that data straight into your ERP or CRM system like Salesforce, for example, um, or you know any other any other application or platform that allows you to ingest APIs. Um, it saves you from doing manual human intervention, manual data entry, that sort of thing, and the risks that are involved in that. It's also just a speed thing. It's much quicker to do it that way. Um, so you can get to you know, opening the account for them, getting your goods and services out to them as well. 
Why would you use it? Just a couple of reasons we've put together here regarding the API. So you might have a high volume of credit reports or applications, but to be honest, you might not have a high volume, might have a low volume, but you're interested in you know, um, gaining some efficiencies in terms of uh, utilizing that uh, automation and integration. You can improve your onboarding process even further. Of course, if you don't utilize the API, just taking advantage of um, Apply Easy is a huge step in the right direction and a huge step in improving that customer journey and the onboarding experience. Um, respond to risk notifications sooner. So if a risk alert that you would usually get by email actually comes through via API into your ERP or CRM system, could be that the company's gone into administration um, or a large court action has been lodged against them. What, we can, what you could do is create a rule within your system to say, put them on stop immediately, okay? I've had plenty of phone calls from you know, credit managers, finance managers, CFOs at various companies call me and say, Patrick, we got the alert in real time and it stopped a truck from literally leaving, you know, leaving the warehouse um, or we stopped, it, we stopped the delivery um, you know, mid-service to save ourselves a, you know, an even, even more amount. Um, you know, it, when a company particularly goes into administration, it's a horrible situation, but if you can make the best of it, um, by reducing you know, future losses um, or, or being able to react in, 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 a, in a faster sort of um, time frame, there's certainly uh, big positives to come out of that. Of course, you can also share information across multiple systems. And as I touched on before, reduce human intervention, um, data entry and the errors associated with that as well. So this is a bit of a high level um, understanding of how apply easy works okay so as the customer is filling in application we're verifying things like the entity the entity details uh, the individual's details so looking at directors and addresses we're assessing their credit credit risk they um, they uh, pose to your business we're ordering a timestamp credit report for you so if you're in the you know if you're using trade credit insurance that's really important However, even if you're not, it's really important if um, you need proof down the track. Um, we can collect documents along the way as well via upload. So they can upload copies of things like trust deeds, driver's license, anything really, anything that's able to be scanned and uploaded into a computer, we can capture for you. In terms of privacy, terms and conditions, um, and even you know, director or personal guarantees, Anything where a signature is required, we've got multiple options. We can collect hand signed documents um, during the application itself or after the application has been submitted. And we can also turn on electronic or digital signature verification for you as well. Um, sorry, I'll go back to that. That's really important because I know that a lot of the time we will have um, you know, people in, in, in the credit or AS department or in finance they see the benefits, you know, they're working in the business, they know what a difference that will make. Um, and one of the challenges is obviously selling that up the line. So um, from a signature point of view, very important part of the credit um, application process. It's good to be able to say that you've still got the ability to capture a web signature if that's what, you know, the MD or CFO or CEO wants at the end of the day. Onboarding procedure, um, once an application is received, you're receiving an email um, and you're able to process that application within your dashboard or inbox, which of course I will show you shortly. Um, a credit decision is displayed, so approve, reject or refer, and that is based on the rules um, that we create in conjunction with you when we get you set up with your online application. Okay, things like, you know, how long they've been trading for, for example, if they've been trading less than 12 months, you can reject them straight away. If they're a trust, you can force them to get a, um, you know, upload a, a trust deed. Um, you know, if they've got any form of adverse or, or the director has a history of, you know, failed corporate collapses, um, you could reject them as well. So there's heaps of rules in there that we work with you to input to ensure that we're giving you um, a nice credit decision. Of course, you can override that credit decision and is not set in stone, but it's great for you to make sure that you're making the right decision or your team is making the right decision on an ongoing basis if they're um, you know, approving applications um, without your input every single time. Of course, you can also access relevant information and documentation. So as I said, credit reports, 
um, timestamp decision for you as well that you can download, sign documents, trade references. If you're still doing trade references, there is an option in there to request those within the application. And then we get to the approve or reject stage. Um, you have the ability to manually or automatically approve and reject applications, as I touched on earlier. Um, you can send an email to not only the applicant, letting, know, letting them know that they have been um, successfully approved or unfortunately rejected, um, but you can also include, you know, sales manager or the rep that's been involved in the sale. Um, approved applications are automatically monitored within Creditor Watch, which is great because if they go into administration the next day, you're going to want to know about it. Um, and applications, of course, are saved into respective folders. So there's a nice audit trail. You can see every uh, change, decision, workflow process that has taken place since they um, lodged the application in the first place, all the way through to rejection and approval and any changes in between. Um, great from an audit perspective as well. The next step, as I've mentioned, um, once you have approved an application, you can register a PPSR registration against it with a single click, um, or you can have the option to, you know, if you've got multiple templates, multiple registration templates, um, you can pick and choose from um, the list of, uh, of, of pre-created ones. Um, so it makes it very easy. You don't have to do any sort of data entry to get that registration done. Of course, that's an optional extra um, to have turned on. Um, and then the next one, the last one here, of course, is integrating with your CRM. So you can automatically send all of that data that has been collected straight through to your CRM or ERP system, including the documents that have been um, uploaded or requested from the applicant themselves. Um, something that sales really like is the fact that incomplete applications are actually captured within the system. So there is the ability to um, go back to those incomplete applications, you can fire them off to the sales team and they can actually call them and say, hey, we noticed that you started to apply for how come you didn't complete it? Is there anything that we could answer? Is there anything that we can do to help you um, complete that application? Review previously received applications. Um, you can reassess previously approved or rejected applications, running them through the decisioning platform again. So this is good for approving previously rejected applications if their circumstances change um, or even rejecting previously approved ones. Um, you can assess company customers and also to do from an annual review, we will actually send you an email um, on a monthly basis to let you know applications that have um, been approved 12 months prior. Um, and if you wanted to run them through the process again, um, it's a really good opportunity for you to do that. So something I like to talk about is, you know, sales versus credit. In most organisations, um, you know, credit will look at sales as as a as a department or people or a group of people that, you know, will just want to just want to get a sale. They don't really care whether they're credit worthy or not. Um, they'll just say yes, 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 and push and push and go over credit's head to try to get approval. Um, and then sales will look at often look at credit teams as as the blocker as um, you know, a hurdle for them to, to close a deal, get their commissions, get their sales, that sort of thing. So Apply Easy is a really, really fantastic tool um, that helps sales and credit teams um, work together and come you know, ultimately to a, a common goal that they're aiming for, which is to approve more applications, improve credit risk and improve the customer experience. So what you find is um, not only is the customer enjoying a better experience, which is a positive for sales. They're also putting in more information, which is a positive for credit. Um, there's a better experience from a communication point of view, as everyone involved is kept up to date with where the application is at. Um, we see a, a reduction in overhead costs, which is great if you're you know, managing um, you know, departmental P&Ls, and if you're not, it's, it's, a, it's a good way to save money across the board. Um, so what we find is that the sales and credit teams actually come together 
and work closer together off the back of having a system like Easy in place. So what I'm gonna do now is jump in and give um, a, a quickish demonstration. Now, Easy is the sort of um, the sort of thing where we can, you know, we can spend 15, 30, 45, 60 minutes giving you, you know, a really comprehensive um, understanding of exactly how it works. Um, but what we like to do is essentially get your credit application form, your current paper-based one up front, um, actually create a, a, a demo version for you, a free demo version for you, come out, do the demonstration on your actual, using your actual questions and, and processes and, and requirements. It's a great way to understand exactly how it's going to work. Um, and then you get the, to make the decision about whether you want to go forward or not. So if you want more information on Apply Easy, of course, get in contact with us or, or jump on applyeasy.com.au. We've got all our features um, in here. We've got some uh, testimonials as well from a number of clients, both big and small, and some uh, case studies you can download. And then we've, of course, got some case study videos and a really basic um, video for you as well in a sort of you know cartoon effect just to convey this, the simplistic nature of a Playsy and, and exactly how it works for you and the customer. So what I've done here is we've got a, a demo version set up. Now keep in mind here as we go through it, this is this is set up for um, you know demo purposes. Some of the questions we ask aren't going to be relevant for your business and that's fine. Everything you see, all the questions, fields, etc., are customizable so you can turn them on or off. You can get exactly, you can ask exactly the questions you want. You don't have to have anything in there. There's no, um, there's no, you know, specific things that have to be in there. So this first page is really just telling you, um, you know, as the as the applicant, this is what you're going to need. It's going to have your company's name, logo, colour scheme, and in here the URL. You'll see your company. .au. One of the first things we're going to ask is the ABN. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a trust one just to show you what that looks like. So, keeping an eye here, as I put that in, it identifies that it's a trust. It then will force the applicant to include the ABN or ACN of the trustee. Um, we can also have it if there's an individual trustee set up. If it's a sole trader or a um, just an individual consumer, we can capture that information. So that's really important way to um, to force someone if they are applying as a trust to also capture the trustee information. We know that most companies out there want to deal with the trustee. Every customer company out there should be dealing with the trustee, um, and and it's always a challenge as to how to do that. So in this case. Most businesses don't really understand the difference, especially smaller businesses between the trust and trustee that's been set up by their accountant. They'll put the ABN of the trust in and then we're forcing them to capture the trustee details as well, which is a great way to do uh, to, 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 to manage your credit, obviously. Here we go, I've just put another one in. This is a company. Um, you can see that it's, it's changed the details here. We've just got, again, we've just got fields here that I've put in just to um, give you an understanding of the things that are available and look and feel. Nature of the business, in this case we've just got the sales agents, sales, sales and mind fill this out with the, uh, with the applicant or pre it and send it to them to finalise. Contact details is the next section, very straightforward. Put in my details here. Um, we can even ask for, you know, an upload of their driver's license, for example, or any sort of document that you might want to capture at this stage. Very simple, click or drag and drop. Um, accounts payable contact, you can get delivery contacts, um, et cetera. You know, the, the sky's the limit. Anything that you want, we can sort of set up for you. Um, this is a tab, just a tab that we've added services that they might be um, requesting access to or, or, or purchase of. Director details, again, we've pulled this direct from ASIC so we can pre-fill that information for you. Um, you can add additional directors. We also can have a save for later button as well, which is usually showing. That allows the, the applicant, if they get distracted, um, have to go away from it or don't have all the information, they can save for later and come back to it 
at any stage. Next section here, addresses, again, pre-fill it with the ASIC information. If you are still using trade references, this is an optional extra that we can turn on for you. This is where you would actually put in, as the applicant, your referees, and that's gonna send out an email to the referee and ask them to respond, but you'll also capture the information so you can call them up if need be. The document section here, this is a really good one. So it's kind of giving you a, uh, an, an overview of the various different um, you know, ways of capturing consent, uh, signatures. Um, so we can do that via an electronic sort of method, tick box. They can click on here, download the document itself, sign it and then upload it back in if they wanted the signature version. So there's plenty of different options here around dealing with terms and conditions, privacy policy, personal or director guarantees, that sort of thing. Capturing you know, um, physical copies of their, their signature. Um, and as I said before, you can even have the option of getting them to post um, a, a wet signature signed document back to you as well. On the final page, what we have here is just a confirmation page. I'm in a pre-fill view. That will show all the information that has been selected. I'm gonna send that off. And that will take me into ultimately what is your dashboard slash inbox. So at this stage, as the applicant, you sorry, as the credit manager, you are able to process the application. Okay. So what we'll see here is you can do your pending uh, application to pass through. These all link straight through to Credit Award, which is really important. So you can see a live credit report of the applicant of the uh, of the of the company or the, the trust in this case that's applying. Um, but also within the file section, we have all the information that we've collected. So we've got the trustee details, we've got a timestamp credit report from when the application came in. So this was back the 8th um, of October um, and also all the information around the, the decision as well, all, right, all in PDF form. Coming through, if you had used some references, you can email a trade reference out again. You can send the application to the, to the applicant again if they haven't filled it out correctly. Um, links through to Creditor Watch. We can see here that we've sent one trade reference out for this particular entity and we're still waiting on a response. Um, and then if we have a look down towards this end, we can actually see things like the auto decision section. So we can see here an application has come in. We have got a reason to reject it. Um, so if we come down here, we can see trustee, here's the reasons it's a reject. The reason is and we've got spend um it's in the as cross objectives um and the status of the entity as well as flag. So what we can do is actually project them. This one we can see the refer. Um so they want to spend only extra dollars. Um there's an adverse cross directorship as well. So that's giving you an understanding of what it looks like um, from a auto decision point of view. What we're going to do though is I'm actually I'm going to approve them. I can say I'm going to approve them for $4,000. So of course, this is optional. If I've got an account ID for them at the time, I can put that in there as well. And I'm going to approve it. What that's done is added it into the approval folder, but also added them to my monitoring list within Creditor Watch. Um, the applicant's name, uh, sorry, email would come up. So Michelle, one of our employees, has obviously filled this out in another demo. But what that does is it allows me to send an email to them to say, congratulations, we've approved your application. Um, your, your number is ABC123 as an account number. You've been approved for $5,000, for example. Um, and then you can even attach additional documents. Okay, you might have product flyers, um, uh, sorry, a list of products, uh, maybe a frequent buyer program that you've got. Um, direct debit, there's, a, there's anything that you want to send off to the customer, like a welcome pack, for example, plenty of our customers do that. You have the ability to do that. Um, and you can also be CC in, you know, sales managers, MDs, CFOs, anyone that needs to be kept up to date with that particular application. So I'm not going to send this off. I'm not going to bug Michelle. Click don't send. And here we go. 
we have the PPSR logic PPSR registration. Do you want to create a PPSR registration? Yes or no? Single click yes, does the registration for you. Um, I'm obviously not going to do that, but yep, very simple, very straightforward. Um, a great way to make sure that you are following the rules sort of, um, of uh, and, and the legislation around PPS to get it done in a timely manner, um, but also just creating a really simple workflow for you and your team to ensure that um, you know you, you, you're doing what you need to be doing from a credit management perspective. So there's plenty more that goes into Apply Easy. That is a very quick, simplified rundown for you. If you are interested, obviously get in touch with us. Um, send through your, your current credit application um, you know, in PDF or Word doc and we can actually set up a live demonstration of, uh, of your application for you. It's a great way to, to have a look at it. You can run some applications through to see how it works and ultimately make the decision whether you want to go ahead with it. Um, we've got something like four or 500 um, companies out there using Applyazy now and that's from small businesses only bringing on you know, maybe a, a couple of applications a month up to some of the biggest businesses in Australia like, like Coates, Metcash, Brickworks, Kennards, Hire, that sort of thing, who are bringing on um, hundreds and sometimes thousands of new customers every single month. I won't go through all of the key benefits here. I'll leave that for you to peruse once we send these slides through to you. I think I've, um, I've, I've banged home, you know, the main ones there for you. We've also got a list of key features. So I touched on most of them in that demonstration. However, um, there's certainly plenty more. And if you'd like to ask about one, if you didn't see it or you're unsure, then please just ask and we can come back to you on that. So a quick poll question. Um, I usually ask plenty more, but I've kept it just to one, maybe two today. And this is ultimately asking, would you want to be contacted um, by Creditor Watch to learn more about one or more of what I've just spoken about? Um, it's a really good way for us to, you know, prioritise and, and um, uh, prioritise our, you know, our follow-ups and whatnot. If it's not something that you're interested in. Um, no need to stop. I actually didn't give you a no option, um, but just no need to vote. But yeah, if, if, if you do want to hear about a specific one or multiples, um, then please let us know. I'll give it another five or ten seconds so you can have a look through it. Let us know what is the best plan of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, I'll close that poll down, jump back in. All right, so that brings us to the end of um, the end of the presentation. So if you have a look there, what's coming next for direct due diligence, and then obviously our list of webinars, today's resources we're going to send out to you very soon. And of course, please in contact with us if you've got anything specific that you would like to talk about. Um, I know time wise I'm, I'm over my 30 minutes already. There are a couple of questions um, so I will try to get through those, a couple of those for us. Um, how are terms and conditions presented to the customer? So good question there. There's actually a number of ways that we can um, present the, the terms and conditions. We can email them a um, copy of the terms and conditions at the end if you wanted them signed, wet signature. We can present them in a scrolling box similar to you know, what you would use with um, Apple or iTunes you know, or just online um, except here. So uh, there's plenty of, there's, there's two options there, but you know, we, can, we can have them showing, we can have them download them, sign them within the application itself. Um, so plenty of different ones that you can um, utilize. Um, apologies, a couple of you mentioned the audio is a bit patchy. I'm sorry about that, but we will get this obviously sent out to you at the end. Um, question here, can you do the same for New Zealand companies? Um, yes, we can do a lot of the same. We can, we can certainly do an online credit application. There are certain limitations around um, real-time verifications. However, we can provide, um, uh, we've got plenty of companies utilizing Applyazy 
for New Zealand in New Zealand and New Zealand applicants, and that will include credit reports as well. Um, here we go. One last one. Can Creditor Watch or Playsy help us help with bringing our terms and conditions up to date? We haven't reviewed our application in nearly 10 years. Yeah, we certainly can. While Creditor Watch doesn't do that directly ourselves, um, I can certainly. We have we have a number of um, uh, law lawyers that we partner with. Um, there's no there's no sort of kickback or commission back to Creditor Watch. We'll just pass you on to. Um, onto a lawyer that can review those terms and conditions. And we've actually, in most cases, um, negotiated sort of favourable terms as well, um, or favourable rates, I should say, rather than terms. Um, so I will get back to you. I won't mention your name, but I will get back to you. Um, I'll get someone to follow that up for you as well. Um, and a question here, can a place you be filled out on a mobile phone? Um, that's a, it's a good question. The answer is yes and no. The more simple your application is in terms of questions, um, then it's easier to do. If it starts to get more complicated around uploads, um, document uploads and whatnot, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Um, however, it is certainly not a hard no there, so um, I can get someone to speak to you like that. Um, I've got a question here around volumes. Look, we do have companies who are own, who are using credit? Uh, sorry, who are using Applyeasy, and they only have you know say less than five new applications a month. Um, it really just it really just depends on you know how eager you are um, to to utilise something like this. If you feel that your current process with a paper based application is somewhat flawed, um, then then I would certainly encourage you to try it out for a few months at the very least. Um, but there, there certainly isn't a you know a minimum volume. We typically do say if you've got less than five, you know, to think about it because you don't get the economies of scales that you do when you start to do you know five, ten, fifteen, twenty, or dozens or hundreds more. Um, but it's definitely something that's worth um, investigating. And then of course, question here about um, how do we charge for this product? So as I mentioned, we'll set up a, a trial version, a demo version for you that you can utilise, be happy with. Um, from there, there's a, um, a go live fee, what we call it. So like a setup fee, except we have three and then if you want to go ahead with it, we charge what we call a go live fee. Um, there's then a monthly fee that includes X number of, um, or typically includes X number of applications as well. Um, so it's, a, it's quite a far ranging or broad question to answer. Um, but the best thing to do is speak with us or an account manager, uh, your account manager, and they can actually provide you with a proper quote around the go live fee and the ongoing monthly fee as well. Um, I think that's most of the questions that I have answered. Uh, one last one, how does Creditor Watch add value to COD? Um, again, COD is, is, is a great way to operate a business because you don't have that credit risk. Um, so while it the credit risk isn't of value utilising um, Applyeasy. You certainly do capture the information correctly, which is great from um, a sales experience, a customer experience, the ability to market to them in the future by making sure you've captured the correct information. Um, and then of course, a an admin efficiency uh, bonus for you because you can obviously capture the information digitally upload that straight into a CRM or ERP system as well. So you're reducing that time required from a, a, a data entry point of view as well. All right, I think that takes us to the end. Thank you to everyone who has joined and hung around for that extra 10 minutes that I've popped on. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day, out of your lunch breaks. Um, coming to silly season, obviously. Um, be safe out there. Have a fantastic Christmas and New Year if you are having time off um, and we will see you again very shortly. See you later.